Brittany and welcome back to Brittaween in quarantine. Yes, I know it's been a few days since I have uploaded, but like I said, I was uploading every single day last week and I was just kind of taking some time for myself and just kind of trying to figure things out and just, I've just been really focused on a lot of other things. I'm taking this whole Brittaween in quarantine thing day by day. It's very last minute like I've been saying. I'm just having fun and I hope that you guys are enjoying it. But today I'm going to say that I'm Allison De Laurentiis from one of my favorite shows ever, Pretty Little Liars. Sasha Peterson is my freaking queen. I love her. Allison is my favorite character. I feel like this outfit is very Allison, especially the yellow top, you know, because it's her iconic top when she goes missing and stuff. So I don't know, should I take it off? Do I look more like Allison? I know you want to kiss me. <laughs> That's what she says when she has the jacket kind of like this. Ian's jacket. Sorry. You're going to move on, Hannah. And you're not. In my last video, which was episode 4 of Birdie 44's Fear takes on Savannah, Georgia. My favorite investigation of the series. We got one more left, which is at 1790, which premieres on my channel this Saturday. So I will be in the live chat once again. It's been so much fun. I'm so sad that it's coming to an end. And we'll, we'll do more after the whole quarantine is over, of course. I really like going to the different, well, I've only done this once, going to a city and staying five nights in five different places. But I definitely want to do this more often in different cities, for sure. So the Folly House Inn, my favorite investigation of this Savannah series. So much activity. It's such a dark story, I don't know, with the human remains found in the wall and just everything that happens there, that girl that screams, the man in the top hat outside. I just, I loved it. I'm so happy and proud with what we gathered for evidence and I just, I was living when I was going through the footage. I was like, yes, the come forward in the spirit box, come forward. And there's a freaking camera there. I was like, oh my God, are you trying to get me in trouble? <laughs> Come forward. You heard that too? There's a bell. But obviously like we did have permission and stuff to film because when I was calling to make you know the reservation I wanted to stay in Miss Folly's room and I talked to the woman the girl who worked there and she was telling me her experiences on the phone. She knew that I was coming in, that I met her in person and we were talking more about it in person. And she was telling me things that have happened, but a lot of things happen, you know, on the main level in Miss Folly's room and the portrait of Miss Folly. So the girl was telling me, I forget her name. I feel so bad. She was so freaking nice though. Like she just was telling us so many stories and they know that this is one of the most haunted inns in Savannah and also in the entire state of Georgia. So she was telling me everything surrounding this portrait. She was like, you gotta take a lot of pictures and just spend a lot of time with this portrait. So I was like, heck yes. She was telling me that some, a lady took a picture and this horse appeared, like an apparition of a horse appeared in her picture. A lot of people have gathered or captured orbs and just like really weird lights. So recently there was a woman that took a picture of the portrait in live mode on her phone. So I of course wanted to do that and she captured the Miss Folly blinking apparently. Now I didn't see this but this is what the girl was telling me and it freaked her out. She didn't even want to come into work for like the next two weeks. That's how much it freaked her out. So I was like, oh my God. I was the most excited about this place. Like the most excited. So of course, you know, before we started our investigation and we, you know, went up to our room and stuff, I went by the portrait because you have to go up the stairs to get to our room and the portrait's right there. And you guys even saw it in the video. I don't, okay. Every time I looked at this portrait, my head was throbbing. Now, was it because I was sick? Was it because, you know, I'm always making up these different reasonings. I'm like, you know, is it because I knew that this is a haunted portrait, so I'm expecting to feel a certain way? You know what I mean? Would, I, would my head be throbbing if I didn't know it was haunted and I'm just looking at an ordinary portrait? You know what I mean? When, you know, like Peggy the Haunted Doll, when you watch videos of her, people feel sick and, you know, they get headaches and a heart attack in one case. And is it because you're hearing about that so that it automatically goes into your head and you're like, okay, you kind of have to 
it's not gonna be a surprise if you feel something, you know what I mean? My head was throbbing and I was reading the comments and many of you guys felt very weird looking at the portrait of her. And actually I read that a couple of you guys had nightmares from watching my video. Like you had a nightmare about Miss Folly, which I found very interesting. Oh my God, in our spirit box session in night vision in Miss Folly's room, when she said, I am Miss Folly, or I am Miss Folly, like, it was as clear as the bell. And I know it ended so like right after that, but honestly, we didn't get anything after that. After that amazing response, it was just dead. So I just didn't put it in. So that's like, you know what I mean, when I kind of want to do uncut videos so you can see the full spirit box session without me taking parts out. You know what I mean? Like when I uploaded the whole night vision footage, which was an hour long of me and Jonathan sleeping. But it's uncut and I want you guys to see you know what I mean? I want you to see the full thing. So in my video, I took a lot of pictures, right? Because I was told, take a lot of pictures. If you want to see something, like, take a lot of pictures. I took selfies with the portrait as well because I am I am just a weirdo. <laughs> I have been looking at these pictures, guys. Let me just go up. It's in my... I took a lot of pictures that night. Like, I just have... I'm going to put them actually across the screen, though. But I have, like, I took so many, as you guys can see. There's so many freaking photos of Miss Folly's portrait. I have been looking, staring at each picture to see if there's anything weird. And that's why I wanted to make a whole separate video about this. There's one picture where I do see a face, and I will get to that. But these first, you know, I'm just not... And then there's this picture where the glare of the light is on her face. At first I was like, oh my god! But no, it was just the lighting, so. So after the selfies, okay, this picture right here, well, you guys are going to see it on the screen. I might just flip it. So if you turn your head, but I might just turn it in editing, right there, you kind of see a face. Like, you see two eyes, you see a nose, you see a mouth, like, you see a circle that looks like a face. And I've noticed too in the pictures, sometimes she looks happier. I don't know, it's weird. I don't know if it's because I've been studying these pictures so much, but her face looks happier in some pictures than in others. So I don't know. But I didn't capture any orbs, any lights. I didn't see an apparition of a horse. In live mode, I did not capture her blinking at all. I mean, in the top right hand corner in some of the pictures, it kind of looks almost like there's a figure in it, but it's just the light, you know? So, like I, in that, I can definitely see a figure and like a face and everything and it kind of almost looks like a, a little kid but I think that's just the lighting you know but I see it you know I definitely it looks like a little girl call me crazy it looks like a little girl like I see the face I see the eyes and there is a little girl that's downstairs who screams like when it's silent and I believe she is the little girl that said Jonathan's name and she's like Jonathan <laughs> any spirit that is here we would love to talk to you any spirit that is here, we would love to talk to you. Any spirit that is here, we would love to talk to you. Any spirit that is here, we would love to talk to you. It's clear as the bell, like, we got amazing spirit box responses. Like, I just, I'm so proud of that investigation. I'm proud of all my investigations, but I was so excited about this place and then just the fact that it lived up to exactly what I thought it'd be. Like, it's just, oh, it just made me so happy. If something truly is paranormal, I'm always like, no, it has to be this. Like, it has to be this. It's like I just can't face the fact that it very much could be something paranormal. Like, my head throbbing every time I looked at it. But then I was like, you know what? People have so many experiences with this portrait. Is it because I know that? Is it because I know that people experience stuff? So, 
you know, my mind, because our minds are so powerful, like, I'm telling myself, people have experiences when they look at it, so is that going to cause me to have an experience just because I'm telling my mind that, so it's going to reflect that, you know, so, but my head was throbbing, and I felt really weird, just every time I looked at her, and then you guys, a few of you said when you looked at the picture in my videos, that you felt like a, this dark presence, you didn't feel right looking at her, and then a couple of you had nightmares that same night, which, I'm sorry that you had the nightmares, but um, that's interesting. That's really interesting to me, but like, what do you think? Do you think when people, you know, just like my example from earlier, Peggy, everyone knows if you watch videos of her or you see her in person, people have so many experiences. They have a nosebleed, a heart attack or something. So it's like you're going in there expecting something to happen, expecting to feel something. And when you feel the slightest thing, you're automatically like, oh my God, it has to be this, you know? Because what if you didn't know that about Peggy? What if you did not know that? Would you, but you knew that she was haunted. Okay, what if you didn't even know Peggy was haunted? She's just a regular doll. Would you get that vibe? You know what I mean? Like, I think I just overthink things way too much. And I was sick. And Jonathan still believes that it's paranormal. <laughs> My illness was very paranormal. And I believe it is too, because he did not get sick at all. Guys, we were together five days and five nights straight, sleeping in the same bed. He was holding my camera, he was taking pictures on my phone for my Instagram, like, it's just weird that he never got sick at all. He never got any of the symptoms. It's just weird. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, you rock my world in the song lyrics, Michael Jackson, hashtag team. Oh, I don't have my ring on again. Hashtag team, birdie for the full, hashtag birdie for friends, hey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.